Welcome to Gronify. In this quick Tableau video, we are going to talk about how you can create a good looking button like filter in Tableau dashboard. Usually, um, you might have seen, you know, filters acting like this, like for example, you can click 2019, you can see the uh, details being refreshed, or depending upon the year that you'll select, things will be refreshing. But this is not the automatic feature that uh, Tableau provides in terms of filters, you have to create these. And in today's video, I am going to talk about it. You might find various version of it. Like for example, you know, you might find uh, some filters like this, as you could see, we can easily create using the method I am going to explain you. Similarly, you will find ton of similar kind of, you know, um, uh, ton of similar kind of uh, button like filters. And uh, using this method, you will be easily able to create all of those, something like this also, right? So let's uh, start and see how we can easily create this. For the time being, what I'm going to do is I'll quickly um, close this one so that, you know, I'll create a newer one and we'll add it over there. One thing to highlight over here is this particular video is not intended towards dashboard creation. So I'm not going to touch to my dashboard anything here. I will be mainly focusing on creating that particular filter. To start with, I'm creating a worksheet and uh, I'll simply pull in the year column that basically means like, you know, order date into here, right? So you could see, you know, all the years are coming now. Then next step, step two that you have to do is to create a calculated field. So I'm creating a calculated field for with the name, let's say, you know, um, something, let's say um, filter underscore button or something, right? Depending upon your uh, choice and I'll just put it value one over here. Now bring in this filter button to the column self, right? And you will get something like this. I'll change this to a bar chart. This is how the chart now looks like. The next step that you have to do is convert this summation aggregation to minimum. For that, you can click over here instead of summation, choose minimum. All done. And now I'll just put it entire view so that I'm having a good, uh, um, you know, I'm having a, you know, um, better looking version of it. Next step is hide all the headers. Same thing I'll do here also, right? Now all the headers and all everything is hidden now. And, uh, and maybe what you can do is currently you could see like, you know, this is coming halfway. So, um, you know, to avoid that, if you want to have it in the full view, um, what you can do is let me show you why it's not coming as a full. I'll just do undo, right? See here. So can you see this? This scale X axis scale is till two, but our value is till one only. So there is no point why I would like to have till two. So for this simply edit axis and you will find the range being automatic. Instead, we'll just put fixed and I'll end up at one. And now you should find it like, you know, full one. And then the next step would be to remove the header from both the axis. All done. So now we are having, you know, a clear bar chart with the, you know, uh, with the kind of buttons like shape that we wanted to have. The next step is to add the levels over here. What exactly we want in the level? We are creating a filter for year. So let's bring in year over here. So order date, put it under level and here it is. Now, all you need to do is do a bit of, uh, you know, formatting. Like for example, we'll put it in the middle, increase the, uh, you know, font size. Maybe we can make it bold. Um, you know, we, maybe we can make it uh, left align, et cetera, et cetera. So let's uh, start with alignment first. Instead of automatic, I'll do center, this one and left. Center and left one, basically. Sorry, not center. This one, left side. And here we can make it as, you know, in the middle. Then what we can do is, you know, currently, as you could see, it's, uh, you know, too, too, uh, too much uh, left aligned. So for that, we can add a few space over here. Maybe I have just added three space over here, right? That looks a little better. And then in terms of font also, maybe I can make it bold and uh, increase the size of it also. Maybe let's say, you know, 14 looks too high. Maybe 12, yep, works. And uh, maybe white color. All good. Now, uh, maybe we can play around the 
color also right so instead of this maybe we can put something like this and you can definitely play around the color etc this doesn't really matter a lot so now we are having a, a you know very good looking buttons ready it's basically you know um, an alternate version so as buttons are not directly available as a filter in tableau so we are making an alternate way of it the next couple of steps are to basically remove any kind of borders that we are having making sure that uh, you know there is no background to um, you know to this particular uh, seat so for that what we need to do is go to format option right and click on setting and here in, uh, in worksheet we will put none so there is no setting now similarly we will also hide any any kind of uh, you know lines that we are seeing here right so just make it everything none we don't need any x axis any ticks nothing right just make sure that you know it's um, removed from everywhere so that it's not causing a problem when you add it to the uh, dashboard right so all good just double check on the row side also all good here also all all well right so now we have this particular uh, you know seat ready maybe we can put it like um, button filter and now go back to your dashboard sample dashboard and here we can just uh, you know uh, bring it here just make sure that it is not selected as tile it's selected as floating because we need to make it add it over here so i'll just bring in button you know filter add it over here and let's uh, you know hide this title also right and now just adjust the height and width so that it will look uh, you know better as per your current scenario right so if you are fine with uh, you know this width all good if you want to increase it increase it a bit and i think okay it seems like you know a couple of um, uh, couple of uh, lines just uh, got over there so let's um, let's work on the lines little more seems like you know some borders and all are still there so let's look at it from where it's coming in this looks good this looks good so where it is ah here grid line was you know not set to none this is fine this is now fine hopefully now it should be all good yep it's all good so now we have added this one right the next step is to make this as a filter so for that what we need to do is just select this particular container and click this filter icon use as a filter and see the magic now click on 2019 and you will find all the data being refreshed to 2019 similarly for 2020 2021 2022 and so on if you want to select more than one filter also just uh, you know you can do both also right depending upon windows or mac what you are using just uh, select both and it will work i want to do all three so select all three i want to do all four so select all four right so this is this is a simple way to add a button like filter in tableau dashboard you could uh, you know use the same you can use the similar method to create any such filter like for example if you want to do on a state or category or region or whatsoever you can just follow this method and can get going i hope you found this video helpful one quick announcement again starting second january we are starting completely free tableau development course hope you have seen already our announcement video if not i'll put the link in the description box go check it out it's completely free and for everyone and uh, if you like this content uh, please consider subscribing to our channel thank you